Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Watch Dogs 2 running on Intel HD 520 graphics. This is on a Core i3 6100U Skylake processor, and we are running the game at 720p and the minimum detail settings. And we're just playing through some of the early stages in the game here, so the first introductory mission. And you can see frame rates there, again, another sort of step down from what we saw on the KB Lake chip. Um, so that means we're now starting to see them dipping below 15 frames per second, which is certainly less than ideal. Um, so we're sort of seeing generally around sort of 13, 14 to sort of 17, maybe up to 20 frames per second in places. Um, and I was still able to get through this introductory section okay, but it does start making sort of aiming and um, you know the combat a bit more difficult. Um, and then when we go and look at some of the outdoor locations in just a second now so we can see here it actually spawned me at night again i'd have liked it to be in the daytime but um frame rates a little better in the outdoor environments again we're, we're generally seeing it's slightly lower than we were on kb lake um not a huge amount in it because they are very similar architectures um but it's, it is just going to start impacting on the playability, particularly if you start getting into more intense action sequences. So um, certainly for the i3 chip, and presumably because the graphics cores has clocked at similar speeds, also for the higher i5 and i7 chips, they're going to start struggling um, if you're just playing it on HD 520. Uh, my Iris 540 uh, video shows that that does perform a reasonable amount better and is probably going to just be kind of I'd say your lower boundary but I will look at some other platforms over the next day or two if these videos prove popular. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to see more from us in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We've got plenty more videos we're sure you'll enjoy as well, looking at gaming on other platforms. And support us on Patreon if you want to have your say on what we test in the future. Thanks for watching.